Mac Jones, top 100, number 85, Dash. Bills fans, worst nightmare. Mac Jones was ranked number 85 in the top 100 last night. The meltdown from Bills fans and Dolphins fans, particularly, was epic. You might be wondering why Bills fans in particular are so upset about the fact that Mac Jones is getting recognition and why they must convince themselves that he is terrible and absolutely will never be good no matter what. And it's so that they can sleep at night because for 20 plus years, we dominated them. And the only way any Bills fans made it through those 20 years was by telling themselves that as soon as Tom Brady retired, we would be a bottom tier team and never be a winning team again. And here we are already in the playoffs two years after Tom Brady leaves the team. So now they're stuck. The self-soothing and reassurance that they gave themselves for 20 plus years has come to be false. And now they're insecure. They're scared. They're worried that the Patriots might just be back. Mac Jones in his rookie year was far superior to Josh Allen in his rookie year. So based on that trajectory, to rule out the fact that Mac Jones could possibly be one day as good or better than Josh Allen is just you, Bills fans, self-soothing like you did for 20 years. There's a few things there. Is, is anybody on earth scared of Mac Jones? The fact that he's top 85, it doesn't scare Bills Mafia. And the reason people tweet that, it's because it's absurd. Everybody always throws out Josh Allen's rookie year stat line. And then they say, oh, look at this. So-and-so did so much better than Josh Allen his rookie year. Or, oh, so-and-so had similar numbers to Josh Allen his rookie year. He could make the leap. I mean, how many Bills fans in general did not even watch Josh Allen, right? And then the rookie year happened, and you, you might have thought, like, yeah, there's a lot of potential there. But, like, you know, we, we are also Bills fans. So we know how this thing goes. He made it a leap that was so unprecedented and we never had seen it before. And the odds of seeing it again are very unlikely because we only saw it once in a hundred years. But ever since that happened, now every team with a mediocre to bad quarterback with a mediocre stat line in their rookie year or their second year or whatever, they think that, oh, well, since his numbers were similar to a rookie Josh Allen, whose best was receiver was Zay Jones, who's main target was uh calvin benjamin that they too can get an all a, a mvp caliber leap in a year here's here's the problem with that video yes bills fans were absolutely own dominated any word you want to put in there by the new england patriots and tom brady for 20 years i am the first to admit it because I lived it. It was pure hell. We all lived it. It was hell. Torture. Miserable. Was there anything worse than being a fan of an AFC East team during Tom Brady's hellish reign for two decades? Nothing. Nothing comparable. There'll never be anything like it again. What his point was there, or at least the point he was trying to make, was that we were so ruined by that 20 years that we're terrified it's going to happen again but in reality they were so reliant on those 20 years that they're terrified they're never going to see it again and so that they they have to convince themselves that a guy like mac jones could potentially become a josh allen